for the company of the same name that was founded in 1901 and renamed as the Gillette Safety Razor Company, see Gillette brand American Safety Razor Company is a personal care brand founded in the early 20th century 1906 by a merging of the Gem Cutlery Company and Ever Ready and has been a principal competitor to Gillette for a century and more. Unrelated to the Gillette Company which also used the name American Safety Razor Company in 1901 until 1904 before it was renamed for its founder, King C. Gillette, the company produces a wide range of personal care, medical, industrial blades and cutting tools with international operations in Canada, England, Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Israel. History. Topic: Star Safety Razor. Frederick and Otto Kampfer were immigrants from Saxony, Germany. In 1875, they applied for a U.S. patent and introduced the Star Razor, the first safety razor made in the United States. The brothers continued to improve their design and sold their products under the Star Safety Razor name in Brooklyn, New York. Topic: Gem Cutlery Company. Jerry Ricard, after working for the Kampfer brothers for 23 years, leaves to start his own company, the Gem Cutlery Company, in 1898. Its first product, the Gem Safety Razor, borrowed heavily from the Star Razor in design, but soon outpaces the Star in sales. Topic ever ready In 1903 Jerry Ricard leaves Gem Safety Razor Company to form yet another razor and blade producer, along with August Schuber the company was briefly named Ricard and Schuber Manufacturing Company before it became the Yankee Company. The Yankee Company made wedge blade razors under the name Yankee, Mohican and Winner. The Yankee Company, is renamed ever ready in 1905. Gem and Ever Ready merge in 1906 and is incorporated as the Persona American Safety Razor Company. In 1906, abandoning the wedge blade design, they introduced the standard single edge ribback blade that is still used today. In 1915, Ever Ready shaving brushes were first introduced and continued to be produced until the early 1990s. Topic. Safety Soap Corporation In December 1919 the Safety Soap Corporation formed as a subsidiary of American Safety Razor Corporation and produced a line of shaving soaps, creams, powders, talc and aftershave lotions to complement the safety razor business. The Safety Soap line was cross-promoted in pamphlets included in other ASR products. Topic American Safety Razor Corporation Gem and Ever Ready merged with Star to become the American Safety Razor Corporation in 1919. It was chartered in Virginia, while razor and blade production remained in Brooklyn. By 1921, it had produced 1,800,000 safety razors, 110 million razor blades, 1 million shaving brushes, 2 million cakes of shaving soap. By 1942, it had introduced and popularized the phrase five o'clock shadow. In 1953, it acquired the PAL, Treat and Persona brands after purchasing the PAL Blade Company. These two product names continue to be made today. In 1954 the factory relocated to Staunton, Virginia, after the Brooklyn City Planning Commission's planned Civic Center encroached on the factory with plans to redevelop the industrial area into office and residential use. The American Safety Razor Factory building at 333 J Street then became the new campus for the Polytechnic Institute of Brooklyn. Seeking diversification Philip Morris acquires American Safety Razor in 1960. In 1963 American Safety Razor is the first maker of stainless steel blades, which were sold under the Persona brand name. In 1968, Philip Morris, purchased the Burma Vita Company, makers of Burma Shave. In 1970, the first blade made with tungsten steel was introduced, the Persona 74. In 1974 American Line, brand of industrial products was introduced, expanding the company into industrial blades. 
In 1977, executives purchased Persona American Safety Razor Company from Philip Morris in a management buyout. Energizer bought the privately held American Safety Razor in 2011, when it filed for bankruptcy. In 2015, Energizer spun off the personal care division as Edgewell Personal Care. Edgewell announced the sale of its personal industrial division to an investment group, which renamed it Accutech Blades. <laughs> 